Okay. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Act of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so uh, via Zoom. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the town website and the Amherst Media website, audio or video recordings, transcripts, or other comprehensive records of the proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. Oh, there's Maureen. Let me see if I can add her. Promote to panelist. All right, did that work? Yep. Maureen, you are now a panelist. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, everyone. Okay, we'll get to we'll get to you. We'll, we'll make sure we address the stuff you need to be here for first. But there's a couple of business things we need to just touch on. Um, so, one order of business is that there is going to be a change in leadership uh, at the Public Art Commission. I am stepping down as chair, and Shona is stepping up. Is that correct, Shona? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Great. So um, this will be my last meeting chairing and Shona, any of the details surrounding that um, you need to figure out, I can help you with. I think primarily it just means letting Angela and Paul know so that, um, uh, and then so that you can schedule the meetings and then when the meetings happen, you're in charge. Okay. So you said- Is there any have. like some sort of like, you know, knighting that has to happen <laughs> or <laughs> No. I have a sword I can use. <laughs> Um, so that that's the biggest order of business. Um, and you're staying on, Bill? I, I'm staying on for the moment, but I'm going to be easing back. Um, primary, I want to primarily focus on because we got that, um, and this will be a big topic of discussion today. I think that uh, MCC ACC grant for the Portal Gallery project. So I want to see that through. Um, but after that, I will probably be stepping back completely. It has yet to be determined though, um, but I have other commitments I need to focus on. Um, so more on that as, as we proceed. Dara, we definitely should talk about the Poetic Dialogue opening, um, but I think we should push that back a little bit because Maureen's here and she's on town time, is that's okay? Great. Yep. Okay, um, so I think then the primary thing to focus on is um, the Making It Public seminar wrapped up this week. We had our last session, Maureen and I. And part of that is a $10,000 grant that came to the town to do a public art project. So we need to figure out um, what that project will look like and um, develop a timetable for it. I also think that there has to be a lot of clarification surrounding the role of town staff and the Public Art Commission and who's going to do what work um, because there's all of that uh, relationship is, is, is pretty much completely undefined. So we need to figure that out. Um, the projects that we've worked on in the past have been our own initiative. Um, and in fact, I'm the one who suggested that the town apply for this program. Um, so in a way, this is sort of our initiative as well. But as these bigger projects start coming online, uh, they're going to entail extremely, uh, well, maybe not extremely, but a, there's a kind of complicated uh, uh, set of, um, there's a complicated process that we need to think about lining up. Um, you know, we've been through some of this before. But as the as certainly as the projects scale up in uh, in in um, amount, uh, as well as hopefully in, in the kind of press and the attention we get for them, um, you know, things have to be done. I think more. Well, they they have to be well done. Let's put it like that. But it entails a lot, as Maureen now knows from having attended those seminars. So um, Maureen, why don't you unmute and we can talk about some of this stuff. Excuse me, um, did you say that was $10,000? Yeah. Okay. So one thing that, you know, Maureen, I don't think you were aware of necessarily, I let you know a little bit, was that we have this portal gallery project 
um, grants for $2,500 um, that we are actively trying to get underway. I was holding off on writing the RFP until after the making it public sessions when we talked about the RFPs. Um, but in fact, I held off longer because some other interesting things came up. Um, primarily for me, one of the things that came up at the end was um, the fact that we could actually take the 10,000 and combine it with another grant. So one question in my mind is, do we want to put that $10,000 toward the portal gallery and have 12,500 to do that project and really do it in a much bigger way, in a way that could potentially include activating the space in front of the, the head house with performances because performance-based work is actually allowed with that $10,000 grant. Um, so we could have a series of ongoing performance. There's a lot we could do potentially. Um, my concern or, or one thing I did want to talk about is if, if we have both things that we're working on, they'll compete for time and for attention. Um, the the uh, Cultural Council grant needs to be spent and done by the end of the year, as far as I know. The grant from Making It Public, they said, what was the, what, what, they, they just want to have the first part of it done by the end of the year, is that Yeah, right? so they, they revealed that they are a little more flexible than what was originally mentioned. So hi everyone, I'm Maureen, I'm one of the staff planners. And um, so through the making it public training, they indicated that I think in the last session that as long as we get the call to artists out um, by the end of December, that's fine. And if the actual installation and display doesn't happen until 2023, that's fine. Um, so they want to be flexible with that, knowing that, you know, we covered so much information and, and they are realizing that this is going to take um, more time than they imagined. So they uh, originally, I think everything needed to be, uh, the whole project needed to be completed by the end of December, but now they're being uh, a lot more flexible with that, which is great. So Maureen, do you have a sense of, um, and have you discussed with Chris or anyone else, uh, what kind of staff time and support is going to be put toward both this project as well as moving forward percent for our projects? Well, I mean, I am been assigned to this pro to the making it public art. So I'm definitely, uh, I, you know, there, um, Chris Brestrup is, is allowing me to dedicate uh, time for this to see it, it through to the end. Um, I know that um, planning staff are waiting for more information about um, uh, another funding source for the North Common project. So that is being um, put on pause until that is fleshed out. And I, I don't know what that means in terms of weeks or months or next year or, um, so I think that's a big question mark. So I, I, at the moment, I don't think we need to focus our, our time on that. Okay, that sounds fine. So, um, so you'll be the person who will be in a certain way carrying the load with the town um, in terms of the, the various stages that um, make it public present. So, you know, in the past, for example, the Public Art Commission hasn't really done any kind of big public outreach before we've um, put out an RFP. You know, we, we just, you know, when we've done the, uh, the electrical box project or um, other projects, you know, we, we've typically just had an idea, you know, Paul sort of sees us as a body of representatives of the public, and then we've, you know, went directly to the RFP phase and uh, reaching out to stakeholders and sort of organizing a jury. Um, you had mentioned, you know, you had thought you wanted to possibly start from and start with public outreach before even beginning to go to the sort of ideation phase. Yeah, I mean, so a big focus of the training was um, was about um, process. It, you know, uh, one of the key takeaways from one of the sessions was someone said, the process is the product. Um, and so they really emphasized of getting community input uh, throughout the whole 
uh, process of doing a um, a public art project. Um, and um, so I'm definitely open to the idea of that. I, I, I would want to start to um, start with a, with a, a meeting with um, staff folks in, in, in new bill. Uh, or Shoshana, if if I don't know if Bill, are you are you passing the baton on the public the making it public project as well, or to be decided you... between we haven't discussed this yet, but okay. so for, for the moment, no. I mean, I, I'd still like to well keep going. Sorry. Yeah. Well, so like, I really love the idea of getting public input from the general public, but and also you know artists. Um, and I'm, I'm working, I'm assisting the senior services department on, um, age it's called a age and dementia friendly community project. And we have done loads of public, um, engagement. And so, um, I'm getting sort of, uh, real, um, I'm getting my, my toes, uh, in the water with, with, um, how to go about in, uh, getting public input, um, particularly with surveys. Um, but um, so it's been really good experience, but, you know, there are some overarching questions um, that I would love to get input from staff, such as, you know, and from you folks is the, like, you know, are there particular locations um, that we would want to explore, you know, either downtown or other village centers or maybe conservation properties? Are there particular uh, mediums that people are interested in? Are there particular themes that people are interested in? Um, you know, it is ten thousand dollars. Is we're so fortunate to receive ten thousand um, dollars to um, do this call for artists. Um, you know, I don't know if the town is interested in provide kicking in more money for a project. Um, my inkling is maybe not, but I think we have a a, a great um, a great start with 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 the ten thousand dollars to play with here. And um, but yeah, I think it would be I think it would be nice to get community input of of um once once we sort of flesh out some sort of overarching um principles or ideas from staff I, I think it would be nice to get uh community input for that process and then as well as um maybe select you know forming a selection you know committee and who would that who would that committee uh entail and I know you all have good experience with that um, and making sure it's a, it, you know, a, a diverse representation of, of, of our community members and organizations and, um, and then, you know, having a community engagement with the, the display itself of having, you know, ribbon cutting and, and making sure it's accessible to all that it's free. It's in a location that is going to be, you know, seen by many and will be, uh, accessible, um, you know, in terms of making sure that it's ADA accessible um, and that it's in a, you know, just a, a, a sort of central location um, for whatever area in town it's located. So what do, what does the, what do the commission members think as well as Maureen about um, having one project, not having two separate projects, just putting this money toward the portal project but kind of with an expanded scope potentially well for me it's kind of hard to decide that unless i have like project one and project two and as much as i agree as a lawyer on a process is incredibly important i'm afraid that i wouldn't go so far as to say the process is the end goal because i think a, a super good process produces a result of emphasis or promoting public art in Amherst. I think that's, to me, the end goal. But again, well, I, I don't think, think that's very important. I don't think like our thing is the process. I think the, like their thing, the whatever, whatever that seminar or <laughs> series of seminars that you went to, that was the process, right? Like, yeah, well, or, I, I think my misunderstanding. Thought, their thought is, is that is that we're building connections we're building connections with community and uh, different representation and and so from a you know from their perspective they're in it for the long haul 
it's not just a you know one art project and then town staff sort of go away it's about building that relationship and expanding a public art program that's inclusive and ensuring that inclusivity um, and so those those sorts of uh, process items um, are part of the the product is is um, how do we engage um, our community um, with this and it's just an aspect of it um, but I, I think it is it is really it, I think it is an important aspect to always keep in mind like they, they're planning so, for the public so they do want to have something that's like actually installed it's not just for, like we couldn't like it's less for performing something like a having a happening than it is for having like a thing it's open-ended it's, it's temporary it, art it's so, temporary. yeah it, it could be performance or performative because well. i don't know if you guys have ever like remembered my my trail idea my trail art thing but tell us again uh, um i was thinking like it would be really cool to like on like maybe um indigenous people's day like when the foliage is really good to have like on the robert frost trail or some sort of trail to have like little spots along the trail so you're like going along the trail and then like you experience art in different ways along the trail so like there might be like a sculpture and then like you know a little while down the way there's like some interpretive dance and then a little while down the way maybe there's someone reciting poetry or and then like some music and you know that sort of thing yeah it so would just, be like a full experience to like you know take in the foliage and like bring people into town and have like a whole like happening on yeah, a nice. nice autumn day <laughs> so let's refocus for one minute or let me yeah. just say again i was sort of I'm, I'm pushing the idea of taking that money and using it to do the thing that concerns me is having these two public art projects kind of running concurrently because I don't think we have the manpower and the attention and the ability to do them at the same time. That's my concern. Yeah. So how, so that's why making it one project is a good solution. I don't think there's any way that the commission and even town staff can pull off a good job doing both of these at the same time. Dana? How far along is the... Uh event or the, the object of your concern how far along is that project so i'm at the portal the portal gallery yeah, yeah. well we, we won a twenty five hundred dollar grant for it it's, it hasn't we haven't done anything yet we need to get a call out soon um, but you have a you have a grant application so it's got a description but we have the money we won no, the grant. you also had to write a grant to get the money right correct so there's a description of the grant? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that would be great. What are you getting at? Huh? Oh, well, you want to read you want to read the yeah. Well, you went around you're you're new, so you went around for the first wait round of the portal. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. She wants to know what the project is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so so the, so the do you do you know Bolt, Boltwood Plaza, Darren? Huh? You know Boltwood Plaza. The parking garage yeah, yeah 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 you know the head house that's the where the steps are that go down there's five windows there many many years ago it, it can take it contained a project that had sort of poetry kind of cycling through it i remember that yeah so so we kind of revamped that space and did a, an exhibition there last through the fall um with a local artist and the idea is that we, that becomes a space for ongoing temporary exhibitions so it's that little square sitting on top of where the uh like the elevator is for the parking garage right and there's five yeah. wi windows oh, there it called? the head it's called a head house head house yeah that building is called a okay. head house okay i didn't know that yeah yeah me neither <laughs> we had a perform we had a performance there as well in conjunction with that um okay. and so the grant is to do another installation there for this fall and another performance. Um, but if we folded it in with this other grant, we could we could incorporate more performative, you know, we could actually, the installation could come out of the space into that plaza potentially, um, you know. 
Do you have any information about how many people were affected by the project that's up or going to be up? Well, we have anecdotal information. Okay. Okay. So how how is how is uh, Dara going to get a copy of the grant so she can? Well, oh, I can just I can just email it to her. I just need the the project description. Yeah, yeah. But so this this still we still have this issue of running two concurrent projects or not. I mean, and how that might work. What would be the other project, and why would we need to take the twenty five? I mean, I understand about the the person power issue. I got it. But beyond that, is there any other reason? And then what could we do with ten thousand dollars? Do we need the extra twenty five hundred dollars? Would that be a benefit? And questions like that, I just don't think we have enough information because you need to say, well, on the one hand, we could do this. On the other hand, we could do that. Let's vote. Well, you're not going to have, okay. so the $2,500 would be used for putting out the call, convening a jury, finding the artist, covering their costs in the installation. It's a very, very small amount of money. Um, and, and also having a performance. Uh, you know, $1,200 or almost $1,300 is a much, much more reasonable amount of money. Um, and we'd get better applicants. We'd get a better project. We could actually do a kind of multi-part project we wouldn't know what that is. That would be up to the artists who apply or how we, you know, in, in conjunction with how we shape the RFP. So you're saying that you'd use the money for publicity and for uh, paying the artists more to attract a perhaps better quality exhibition. Is that, am I understanding you correctly? Well, that's right. So some of the things that Maureen and I learned and making it public is that, you know, for bigger projects, you're paying the artist to actually develop their project idea, which I don't think with a project this scale, even for the $10,000 project we would do. But certainly it would be nice to pay people who are sitting on the, you know, who are part of the selection committee. Certainly it would be nice to pay the artist more. Certainly it would be nice to give the artist a bigger budget. Uh, certainly it would be nice to potentially be able to do projects with, let's say, somebody who does, or multiple artists potentially at the site. Um, oh, I have a question actually. Um, sure. What are we not allowed to spend the money on? Because like, like would hiring an artist for developing our logo fall under a not? Yeah, not we can't. Do, on it? We can't do that. Okay, it has, yeah, it has to be for for, so. for the project itself. I know, Maureen. What are your thoughts? Yeah, um, unless that's the project, that doesn't sound like public art. <laughs> No, no, no. It sounds like an admitted, it doesn't the local cultural, well, you're not the local cultural council, but um, that could be a, potentially its own grant uh, application yeah. is if you're looking for logos and stuff like that. Um, but, but no, what, this is not, that that's, doesn't sound like a project. But Maureen, what is your thought about the two, two projects versus? Yeah, I mean, you know, that could potentially work. Um, I would love to also get a copy of that application and you know, that being said, I, I would love to get, you know, input from the, you know, the Amherst bid and from town staff and, um, and other folks. Uh, so that's surrounding the bank center and the Clark house and, you know, surrounding, you know, restaurants and retail, et cetera, and sort of getting their, their thoughts on it um, of like, what, if we were to combine it, you know, what would those folks want to see? Mm -hmm. Um not just us, not just you and I, but sure. as the community, what what would what do they feel would be um, like some thoughtful things or considerations, or mm -hmm. maybe they even have ideas of what the median me, medium is or the type if it's if it's performance art, um, you know what does that mean? Um, do they have ideas? Is is it poetry? Is it um, mm -hmm. acoustics? Um, etc. So yeah, I mean, that definitely could be a, a possibility. Um, so um, yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Um, increase it to what 12,500. 12, 12, 12, so th that's great. Mm -hmm. And so then we could really beef up sort of a 
a lineup of of art for a time period and i don't and i it would sound like maybe there would be uh, an event but it also would be ongoing for the windows and mm -hmm. maybe other things and at, by yeah. that time so the town um through a mass dot grant got funding for um some tables and chairs that will be placed out there um and i believe they've been delivered so it's a matter of of staff putting them together and putting them out there so that would mm -hmm. be another interesting thought of how you know would that furniture and new furniture be in the way or maybe that would be complimentary because now people would have a a, a place to sit mm -hmm during it so, so yeah um when is like our earliest availability would because like last year we did the portal gallery um like for parents weekend i think right for umass parents weekend and that or like right around there and that that, that seems like that you know a good time to shoot for because then you know you got people in town that are like experiencing amherst and it like makes us look good and you know good can we get it by then or or is it this like next year's idea so that would be early september i i think that's uh you know just based on the trainings that seems really tight but i i understand that that you're trying to combine them um so yeah i don't know so something. for the making it public train um money funding we wouldn't need to to actually implement it until next year so we there isn't necessarily a rush from my perspective but if folks really want to combine these projects to do it this fall i mean it, we might be able to make it work i think we should table this until next meeting so that the two people who ask for the descriptions can get it You're, it's jim you were present at the portal gallery opening last year so the I description didn't get the information Dara asked for it and, and, yeah. and Maureen asked for it. And so I'm just thinking oh. we should yeah. send that to them and then make the decision at the next meeting. Okay. Not uh, only was I present at it, if you recall, I made a uh, contribution. Right, right, exactly. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, but, that sounds like a great idea. We don't have to rush into this at all. Um, and I really I think we should carefully just sort of examine, you know, you know, w what are some ideas and I, I, I and then again, I, I'll have to talk to staff about what their thoughts are on this and um, sort of their expectations of timeline and um, and process. Um, so, yeah. So and you guys meet once a month or when do you? Yeah. Get OK, yeah. So just uh, shoot me an email and let me know when the next meeting is and I'm happy to to attend so we can talk more and you know i can um i'll certainly send um, bill um, offline i'll send you an email of any information that i have and mm -hmm. um or i and i can copy you all if you want if that's easier so all right great okay. yeah and i'll send that uh proposal around i can send a little more information about the space yeah. as well to the people who aren't familiar with it yeah cool okay thanks Marie. All right. I guess okay. I'm going to take off. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye, Laurie. Okay. So why don't we then move on to poetic dialogue and the events surrounding that? Okay. So just while we were talking, um, the draft uh, for proofreading came in for the program. So that was good. I don't think you can see. Oh, can't see it. But um, <laughs> that didn't work. I don't have it on a screensaver thing. So it looks good. So that'll be done. Thank you all for helping me get the information for that and Bill especially. I appreciated it. Sure. And, so uh, what is the actual time of the thing? It's on April 30th, but what time did we decide? Uh, we were asked to move it from 11.30 to noon. So it's noon. From noon okay. to 12.30. Okay. Noon to 12.30. Is this poetic dialogue? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Yes, okay. I'm, I'm Poetics sorry. Dialogue, April 30th, 2022, noon to 1230 at Switzer Park, Switzer Park near the Evergreens. Is it actually, so uh, this is something I haven't, I don't think that's, that's not Switzer Park. It's across the street oh, that, from Switzer Park. They, call, they kept calling it that to me when. It I was, did. Yeah. 
when I was talking to other people about it. So if you want okay. me to take that off, I'll take that off. I, I, I wasn't clear. So if you telling me that it is Sweetster Park, then. <laughs> I, I have not gone to the town hall and looked up the official maps. So when you look at when you look at a map, Sweetster Park seems like a self-contained thing on the one side of the street, and the poetic dialogue seems to be perched on the property that includes Dickinson and the and the uh, uh, Evergreens. Evergreens. People, the Emily Dickinson people do not believe they own that spot. They don't own that land. They call that land That's Sweetster. Why they they don't believe it. they own that land. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and we use the we use the drawing for the original as the artwork on the cover of the program. Great. It's got a whole lot of facts from the original specs that the right. artist did mm -hmm. as part of the content, just because it makes the program more interesting yeah. to have specs for the originals in it. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little bitty uh list of what happens when you know 11 it goes like 11 30 11 40 11 50 and bill you have a big role in this which uh, we thank you for for doing the introducing and do, being the leader of the uh, public art commission so uh, if you need any information that i haven't sent you already tell me and then i'll supply it somehow yeah certainly send me send me the program uh, I, I will. I sent you the draft of the program already. Yeah. And it's not. It's almost not any different. Yeah. And I sent you the information to uh, bio intro the two high school students who've yeah. done all the writing for us. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to have a rehearsal with them this coming week. Okay. For, for their part, they they wrote a really great great script. It's really kind of funny and sweet, and uh, it's got a lot of spirit in it. So it was pretty great of them to to do it. I thought they were cool. Super. Um, do we have anybody? Do we want the, somebody to videotape them? Is that something? So uh, what? Do we want somebody to like videotape them or the event? Is that something? I'm not yeah. involved in no. that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so if you want to see about getting somebody to do it that would be okay. And, you know, I, I don't have, have a photographer it? either. Do we have the money for it to, to pay a video? What do you call videographer? Uh, I have no money. Well, so no, I'm the public art commission, do we have a budget? Treasure? Um, wait, hold on. I've got it written down. I think well, we have it. 600 it's a good idea to have it if we got the money in it. I think, I think. One thought, we've got one thousand two hundred and two dollars and fifty nine cents. All right. But is any of that money grant money or money that needs to be held on to? Um, well, the only outstanding bill that we're going to have is that six hundred dollars. But that's like held somewhere else. Right. You've got that. Don't you? Know? I don't know what's been transferred into our account and what hasn't. That's that's treasure's job to be aware I've of. I've never, I I've never seen that money for that that poetic dialogue. Like I've never gotten any sort of like thing that said like, hey, oh, there's money coming in. I just got um, the stuff that like I'm trying to get paperwork from. Um, like I've just got like invoices from Kamal that I had sent in and I got, well, I'm trying to get an invoice from um, the DPW, okay. but they're not yeah. ready yet. I can I can reach out again to um, Robin over at uh, Amherst Cultural okay. Council and see. Okay, I withdraw my suggestion because I don't think we can get all this done by April 30 with that getting an ulcer. Go ahead, Let me say one thing. If you if you know what your budget is and you're spending six hundred and fifty dollars, I think on the landscaping or something like that, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. landscaping. You have you have about four hundred dollars left over. I'm I'm Factory Hollow Press donated the program, and the wreaths were donated by somebody else, and somebody else donated the cost of paying for the madrigal singers from Amherst College and for the writers. The two high school students are gonna each get a hundred dollars. Oh, nice. 
the magical singers are going to get a hundred for their whole outfit to split on uh, whatever that um, I don't know how many of them it's probably four of them maybe and um it, we're all I don't need I don't need any money so mm -hmm. use your four hundred dollars or whatever to pay a photographer or pay a video person if you have somebody in mind but I'm not doing it um, <laughs> I've done my bit you know, and I, I know what Jim means about trying to get this together, unless you know somebody who like, yes, yes. hey, I can video this, it's no problem. Hey, I can, do it, you know. We know, we know a photographer who's in the room with us right now. And uh -huh. we all, and we also, we also know somebody who's uh, a close, close relative of a videographer who's also <laughs> in the room with us right now. Okay. I think I'm going to take my background down. <laughs> to tell you all the truth, but for me, what I really, really need is somebody to make a peer at just before noon at the site, three chairs. Oh, you need three chairs? Yeah, because you have to have ADA a little bit of a gesture toward caring about it. So they have, it's a stand up event. And so you need to have a couple of chairs to offer people if they need it. I can bring three well, chairs. Also chairs make it look like something's about to happen too, so. Right. Well, that's yeah. why I got the magical yeah. singers because they're going to start singing before it starts. Yeah, I got a couple of chairs, I think. Well, well, all we need is three, I think. I mean, I don't think we need to have a lot. Well, I could put it in the back of the car in case we have four disabled people because that you okay. know, the point about having a chair for people who need it is I thought that was pretty compelling. Yeah. Uh, on on this particular day, I'm kind of like double booked. I'm also doing stuff with the tree committee yeah. at the um at the farmers market. But then like at noon, I'm gonna run over and see you guys doing this thing. Well, that's very sweet of you to be in two places at once. It's hard <laughs> to do. Yeah. yeah. So, but I think it'll be kind of sweet, you know. The magical singers are. I will send yeah. you all, I'll, I'll send all, I think I have all of your email. I can send you all the draft of the program now that I have the new one. And uh, I have another page that we made 50 copies of, I think, or 40 of all the lyrics for the Magical Singer songs to make the Magical Singers feel welcome and feel like we care about what they're singing. Hey, Dara. I didn't wasn't because at the time I sent out the press release to the town uh, didn't have them on it. It was just musical accompaniment will be part of it because I didn't know yet. Right. So I'm going to reach out to Scott at the Gazette, but give me that info and I can add that in. So he'll have it. And then they hopefully they can get it into the paper next week for the week after yeah. I can do that today or tomorrow. Okay. I'll send it to you. OK. Um, yeah, because the press release went out. To the town a couple weeks ago it should have appeared on the town yeah, website. I, I remember when yeah. you asked me for the information and I made a vague right. thing that I hadn't had any information yet from yep. uh Brooke Steinhauser was doing it for the for me to get the magical people. Yeah. Sounds great. Thank you for doing all this work, Tara, and you know making this wonderful event happen. Um really excited and I think it's going to be awesome. I think it'll be okay and um collective copies is doing the printing and stuff and they were able to reduce the gigantic logos for the mass cultural council and the amherst cultural council that i managed to download and they made they made everything fit it looks great right so i will um put my comments together uh, i may have some questions for you as i do that um so That's i'll be, be in touch yeah yeah. Is there any, any anything else we need to think about? Yeah, minute, minute question. How do you spell sweets or part? Uh, it's like sweet and then S E R, I think. S E R? That's yeah. yeah, I think so. All right. I had it with Z. That's what I thought. S W E E T S E R. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I think that's all of our major areas of business um, that we needed to touch on. I don't really have anything else to report, share report. Um, and I don't think we have any other 
big projects pending. Shona gave us her treasure report. Um, Shona, I will send an email to Paul and Angela, letting them know about the <clears throat> passing of the chair, chairperson's hat um, and, and anything surrounding that we can figure out. <clears throat> um, is there anything else anybody wanted to talk about, touch on? To encourage people to show up for the little event, because I'm sure it'll be tiny. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming with my family, so there'll be four of us. Oh, that's great! <laughs> All right, I'll make an event on social media now that I know the time. Okay. Great. I'm going to send you all the program in just a few minutes. Okay. So you great. Have that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for all this. This is amazing. This is an event you've made. Yeah. Oh, I hope I hope it'll be okay. It was fun to do it. <laughs> All right, so if there's nothing else, I am going to adjourn the Public Art Commission meeting and Oh, say wait, 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 one oh. more thing. Yes. When's our next meeting, right? Thank oh, you. Yeah, of yeah, course. thank you. <laughs> of course. Yes, this is actually going to be your job now, so good call. <laughs> I know, I've started to think, wait a minute. <laughs> so you lead the charge. All right, let's see what we got here. Something in May. Do we have like a pattern or do we just like throw a third start at the calendar? Third Monday seems to be roughly, so that would be like the 16th. I'm wondering, I'm wondering when and if we wanted to start meeting again in person or do people prefer Zoom? Uh, I, I think Zoom for now, the, the cases are going up rather rapidly and I'd like to see how that, how it, you know, they're they're up a large percent. And so I'd kind of like to see how that works out. And then maybe after that, it's my vote. Okay. Yeah, so the 16th works for me. Does that work for you guys? Yes, it works for me. Well, yes. what, when, what time are we doing? The 16th at four. Works four for me. Yeah. Okay, great. At four? Yeah. All right, works for me. Huzzah. All right, we'll have to just cross our fingers for Ellen. Yep. Okay. You, can oh, you can reach out to her on email. Here's my fingers. All right. <laughs> Thank you all. And uh, talk to you soon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Nice Bye. to see you.